Hey, welcome back to uh, part two of this uh, Hexagon 2.5 video tutorial. <clears throat> In this tutorial, uh, we're creating a low poly wooden crate, and uh, this is part two. And hopefully, you did save your uh, your hexagon file uh, from part one uh, because you're gonna need it. Okay, uh, I've got that opened back up and so the next thing we're going to do is jump right back into it uh, we're going to need to export our uh, crate as an object an OBJ and we're going to export it right into the same folder where we've saved everything else and we're just going to call it crate save and um, I pretty much as a habit have a lot of these uh, checked off I don't have the merge equal UVs and merge equal normals checked but pretty much everything else is um, checked uh, that's maybe that's something we can get into in another tutorial so anyway uh, we're gonna go ahead and save it okay we're gonna go ahead and um, close hexagon right here and we're going to open up X normal if you don't have X normal you uh, you might want to go get it uh, in the uh, first video I did and the kind of the primer for this tutorial series I gave the link uh, to where you can get X normal okay um let's see here let's we're going to uh click the high definition message mess oh, i can't talk meshes and uh, and then we're going to click add mesh and then we're going to go to our file location and grab our crate object open it up and then now I'm I'm no expert X normal user so bear with me on this but I do know that this is the way I've done it before and it works okay uh, we've added our mesh and then uh, the only other thing that I change in in this particular area right here is you'll see smooth normals you'll see use exported normals and we'll just change that to average normals and then we'll go to our low definition mesh and then we'll right click and add mesh and use the same same uh, file again and we need to change that to our average normals and then we'll go over here to our baking options okay uh, don't know a lot about these settings uh, but let's see here um, we need to go up here to our output file and we'll just call this crate map um, when we uh, when we export it it'll, it'll add a little uh, more to the name um, okay on the size we're gonna set that to 1024 by 1024 um, in our uh, now our UV is let's see here is is a uh, 503 by 503 pixels um, but we're exporting our um, ambient occlusion map is 1024 by 1024 uh, so when we go into GIMP to start creating our texture we're gonna resize our our UV to 1024 by 1024 
uh, and you will notice that 503 and 503 that's square 1024 by 1024 is square so you need to make make sure that both of them are square okay um, I don't know about the edge padding yet or the bucket size uh, I believe that's the size of the block as it's being rendered uh, the renderer I've tried a couple of these other options didn't work for me anti-aliasing um, we're just going to leave it set at one time um, so it doesn't take so long in this video uh, maps to render you have a lot of different options over here but the only one uh, we're worried about this time or not worried about but going to use is the uh, ambient occlusion so we've uh, added our high definition mesh our low definition mesh which was the same we've set smooth normals to average normals on both both our options there and now the only thing left to do is just this big button down here generate maps so um, now I did uh, generate a uh, 2048 by 2048 and it takes longer so that's another reason to go with the 1024 by 1024 and as you can see it renders up pretty fast uh, I'm using 64-bit version um, and that would that was pretty quick uh, the larger the resolution you uh, set this to render at the uh, larger or the longer it's gonna take to render so anyway this is what it's gonna look like um, so let's go ahead and close that I will just go ahead and close X normal we'll go to our folder here and as you can see now that uh, we named our our image uh, crate map and then uh, X normal added the uh, underscore occlusion and uh, we did save it as a JPEG also uh, you may want to remember that I believe uh, any model that you take into X normal has to be an OBJ file I'm, I'm not a hundred percent sure I'm still learning it but uh, as I figure things out I'll pass it along with to you too so let's go ahead and take a look at our map so there it is um, this pretty much takes care of part two and uh, in the next tutorial it may run into uh, two or three parts I'm I'm not sure but we're gonna open up GIMP 2.8 and start creating our texture so and remember remember to save save this image of your ambient occlusion um, because we will be using it over in GIMP alright have a great day that's it